Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my brothers and sisters of this world. How are you doing today? If you don't know who I already am, and if you stumbled across this video, I'm just going to quickly share with you my testimony. So, when I was very young, about 19 to 22 years old, I accumulated over 4 million followers, we could say. And by the time I was 22 years old, the devil, the prince of darkness, he offered me a deal to come back to him, to serve him. And here we are, about five years later, and now I'm a minister and prophet of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now you know. Now for those who have been here for the beginning, this video is the first video that I make that starts off a succession of other videos and services for Sunday, on Sunday. So this video is just an introduction to sum up or, you know, summarize the last nine months and what I've been doing so that you may know what that looks like and where we're going. Man. There's a lot for me to say and there's a lot for us to learn and there's a lot for us to grow together in. So if you're watching this video, then you're partakers of this ministry. You're partakers of what we're, well, what I'm starting. So I started my ministry back in August of 2020 and I was in a good time then. You know, I was financially, spiritually, and I was receiving visions of the Lord of what was to come, you know, forewarnings. And I said, okay, like I understand. But I wasn't prepared. I, I can't say that I wasn't prepared. I didn't expect, that's better, uh, the spiritual warfare and how strong that was going to be. Well, anyway, just to make a long story short, um, right around that time period, I have to mention what happened before. So from 22 to 24-ish, I took about $10,000 and turned it into like $89,000 in the stock market. So I was in a really good time period, right around 24 years old, going on 25, but then I end up losing everything. Just from being careless, playing video games, not looking over my finances, just being a terrible steward of everything. And I end up being in like $4,000 in debt, and now I'm in 25. And the year of being 25 years old was definitely not a good one. I was in a state of dreariness, you know, I was just, you know, sad and, you know, I would always look out my window and I would just watch the world pass me by, you know, the birds singing, the squirrels, and it was just a very sad year, you know, having lost everything. But then, I, you know, I pick up, I gird up my loins and I say, you know what, in the, in, in the Bible, you know, you have Job and then you have what comes after, the book of Nehemiah, right? of him rebuilding Jerusalem one by one, stone by stone. So I entered into a state of Nehemiah after I left a state of Job. And I began to build, you know, I, I started real estate. Real estate didn't work out too much. I didn't really like it. So I got a job at Amazon and I worked there for about a month. And then after another month or maybe 15 days, I started sending out my resume to uh, level three positions within Amazon. And I prayed a prayer to the Lord. I said, Lord, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where you want me. You know, I don't really like real estate, but if you want me to be in real estate, I'll stay there. But if you want me to be in Amazon for the time being, let me get this promotion. So I sent out my resume to all the facilities in New Jersey and I got a promotion in the same building that I was in, only working for Amazon for two months. So after two months, I was already a level three logistics specialist. Um, so I worked there for about a year saving up money and then I quit my job to focus on my business because I said I'm going to focus on my business and my business is going to fund my ministry and when I quit my job that was in June 30th of 2020. So that July, August, that's when I was in a good state of mind, good financially, spiritually and I was going to go do my ministry and I was posting and I was going to start that stuff. Well, and then obviously in September, October I end up losing like 12000 so I panicked and just paid off my debts with the remaining money that I had and I was back to zero. So in, in November I get another job and I said, man, I got to do all this stuff again. I got to work and, and do, you know, I was, I was recollecting, you know, I was reminding myself of my years when I was in 25 because I was now 26. I was like, man, I got to do this all over again. 
And then in December, I fall because in the book of uh, James chapter 5, verse 16, it says, Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another, for the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So my sin, which I confess to you, because we should all be confessing our sins one to another to our brothers and sisters so that we may be comforted. My sin was obviously the sin of masturbation coming from, you know, where I came from, you know, having, you know, fornicating and all that stuff. So that was definitely one that still had its grip on me and I could not break free. And, you know, on the night of December 13th, the Lord appeared unto me in a vision, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he spoke to me and he reproved me and he reprimanded me with words of loving kindness. Um, and I learned a lot from that experience. I learned a lot from our conversation, you know, as a prophet and minister of the Lord and, and to where I'm going, to what I, who I'm going to be. Um, I learned so much, you know, I learned the power of prayer and how to cast out pains and how to cast out low level demons. Um, and then I also entered into a fast later, but you know, after this experience, I felt strong, I felt powerful. You know, I felt like, okay, I'm going in the right direction. I'm gonna change this. So in late December, like the last weeks of December, I enter, enter into a fast and I, and I take a loan out for $13,000 to focus on my business. And in the next week, I'm telling you, the next week is now January, I lose $10,000. So now I am, $15,000 in debt because I had 5000 in credit card and I just lost 10 so I'm like geez man what's what's going on like what am I doing you know and I knew that I had to pay this stuff off so the last five months because we're in May now the last five months I've been working at uh, FedEx working 12 hours a day six days a week and I was you know making pretty good amount of money but all that money was sending off to my debts you know just to pay it all off and I'm still in debt now you know I still have quite some but I, I've learned so much that I don't even care about how much I'm in debt you know I entered into a fast and for spiritual growth my eyes to be opened understanding knowledge all wisdom Sophia all this stuff right and I'm so much more powerful now and I've also within this time have found my own mentor a, a, a major prophet who I'm now learning and, and developing my spiritual gifts in and I'm just so excited because, you know, I'm only 27 years old. You look at Abraham. Abraham was 75 when he left Haran. Moses was 80 when he spoke to Pharaoh. Joseph was 30 years old when he was made steward over in Egypt, the entire country, the entire world. Jesus was 30 when he first started his ministry, around 30 when he was baptized and started his ministry. And I'm only 27, so I'm very, very young and I'm excited to to just start you know I'm very excited because this year is a year of consistency a year of growth a year of spiritual levels a year of determination um, and I impart that to each and every single one of you that's under the power of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus so that's pretty much where I'm at right now um, you can expect a video every other Sunday next Sunday we're gonna get into the word and the first message we're gonna start on is what is the true church because that is the message that the Lord has put into my spirit, that that is the best message to start my ministry. What is the true church? So you know what the true church, what a true church looks like, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna start that. I don't know how much time I have left on the camera because my camera usually shuts off at like 12 minutes exactly. So um, I'm gonna end this here, I'm gonna end it here and um, I'm just gonna quickly pray for you. So wherever you are, raise your hands. Wherever you are, raise your hands. And if this video stops in the middle of my prayer, just raise your hands still and I'm gonna keep praying. Ah, Father, Lord, every single person that is under the power of my voice in this moment, in this instance, in this present truth, in this present, I pray that you open up their eyes, that you begin to work in them a great work, that you begin to bless them, that you open up the gates of heaven and pour out to them a blessing that they will not have any storage space, any room to receive it. When they try to find storage for one blessing, another one comes. Another one comes. That this year for them be the year of spiritual growth, a year of determination in the Word, a year of persistence, a year of perseverance, a year of overcoming obstacles, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we pray. Amen.
Amen. I'll see you guys next week for our first message and our first service. May the Lord of heaven and earth bless each and every single one of you. Amen.